Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, today we are going to learn about a section formula, trisectional points of a line, centroid of a triangle. So we have completed a 7.1 axis total problems. Before going to solve axis 7.2 problems, uh, we have to learn about these three topics in the formulas. So first one is section formula trisectional points of a line and centroid of a triangle so let's see here uh, we have to learn one by one so now we have to learn about section formula so see here what is a section formula very very important definitely we can get one four mark question on this formula so see here what it says the coordinates of the point px comma y which divides the line segment joining the points a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 internally in the ratio m1 is to m2 r p x comma y is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 this is known as the section formula so what it means see here so here uh, this is the line joining a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 here uh, p is a point which is dividing the line in the ratio m1 is to m2 here the point p x comma y is dividing the line joining a b in the ratio m1 is to m2 then the coordinates of px comma y is equal to m1 into x2 m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma next m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 by m1 plus m2 this is called a section formula so just to see here a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 on a line joining ni p x comma y on a point to internal ga m1 is to m2 ratio lo divide cheste p x comma y yokka coordinates em avutayante so m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 avutayi so, this is the manam section formula. Antam. Very, very important. So, next manam trisectional points of a line. So, next uh, we have to learn about trisectional points of a line. So, now we have to learn about the trisectional points of a line. So, see here uh, what it is. Uh, the points which divide the line segment into three equal parts are called trisectional points the points which divide the line segment into three equal parts are called trisectional points so a b is a line segment here p and q are dividing this line segment into two three equal parts here points p and q are dividing this line segment a b into three equal parts here the points P and Q are called trisectional points. Trisectional points. In the other way we can say the points which divide the line segment internally in the ratio 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 are called trisectional points. So see here, here the points P and Q are dividing this line segment into three equal parts. Hence, P, see here, P is dividing the line segment A and B in the ratio 1 is to 2 internally. So, here it is one part and these two are the two parts. So, the point P is dividing the line segment AB internally in the ratio 1 is to 2 and the point Q is dividing the line segment AB internally in the ratio 2 is to 1 here it is a two parts it is a one part so we can say the points which divide the line segment 
internally in the ratio 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 are called trisectional points. So here uh, these two points are called trisectional points. So ikkada a and a, a and b and a rendu points in giant chase at one day line segment no. Leda a b line segment no. Three equal parts ga divide chase at one day points in manam trisectional points antamo. So ikkada a b line segment no. P and Q points so three equal parts are divided. Yes, three equal parts. One, two, three equal parts. So, here P and A. Point P and A. A, B is internal. Ga. So, 1 is to 2 ratio lo divide. Yes, so, point Q and A, A B is internal. Ga. 2 is to 1 ratio lo divide. Yes, so, here P and Q are no, Trisectional points and term. Trisectional points. So this is about uh, trisectional points. It is also very very important. So next we have to learn about centroid of a triangle. So now we have to learn about the centroid of a triangle. So see here what is the centroid. The centroid of a triangle is the point of concurrence of its medians. So see here. Uh, here ABC is a triangle, AD and BE are the medians. So let it is E. So here AD and BE are the medians of triangle ABC. So the point of concurrence of its medians is called a centroid. Here Z is called the centroid. So it is the point of concurrence of its medians AD and BE. So the centroid of the triangle the centroid of the triangle divides its medians internally in the ratio 2 is to 1 so vertex side 2 units and midpoint of opposite side is 1 unit so see here here this is centroid g the centroid is dividing the median ad in the ratio 2 is to 1 so 2 units is a vertex side is 2 units and this is the midpoint of the opposite side it is 1 unit. So the centroid of the triangle divide its medians internally in the ratio 2 is to 1. So 2 units is vertex side and 1 unit is a midpoint of the opposite side. So next if a x1 comma y1 b x2 comma y2 and c x3 comma y3 are the three vertices of a triangle abc then its centroid is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 so this is the formula we use to find the centroid of the triangle when the vertices of the triangle are given so and this is about centroid of a triangle see here uh, centroid of the triangle is nothing but the concurrence of the point of its medians so ikkada ee ad comma be lanu manam medians antamu so ee medians ekkadaithe touch ayyayo aa point nu manam centroid antam so ee medians ekkada touch ayyayi z ane point daggara touch ayyayi ikkada point z ni manam centroid antamu so, this centroid and a point to medians in 2 is to 1 ratio lo divide just on the. So, 2 units emo vertex side, 1 unit emo uh, midpoint of opposite side. So, next manam A x1 y1, B x2 y2, C x3 y3 ani uh, A B C triangle yoko vertices each in apadu centroid concord on ki formula ANT and x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 idi manam triangle yoka 3 vertices ichi centroid find out che man apadu use jc advantage formula so idi manako centroid so this is all about the centroid so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class uh, with the problems from XS 7.2. Thanks for watching.